Ready for a genuine Western adventure in one of the most beautiful regions of North America, where you're surrounded by mountains and natural land formations that have stood as sentinels for millions of years, where you're surrounded by wildlife and incredible natural beauty. Ready for a unique horseback riding experience like no other, where you and your horse explore mountains and canyons few people have seen or set foot on? Ready for exceptional accommodations, hospitality, and cuisine that will create lifelong memories? Well then, you need to create your next adventure at the Hideout Lodge and Guest Ranch in Shell, Wyoming, all in the shadows of the Bighorn Mountains. What sets the hideout apart from other ranches is that there's an ingrained culture of caring Everyone, from the owners, management, staff, wranglers, the kitchen staff, and housekeeping, make it their personal mission to care that your experience will be the best you've ever had anywhere. On Sunday afternoon when guests arrive to the hideout, um, myself and Melanie, who helps us in the office, are the first people that guests will see. And um, they also spend a lot of time communicating with us prior to their arrival, sending in their information and emailing questions. So it's really nice for guests to be able to um, put a face to the names that they've been communicating with for sometimes more than a year. Um, because of our small numbers, we do book up far in advance. Sometimes, some weeks book um, nearly a, or more than a year in advance, with most weeks booking about six to nine months in advance. So we formed a relationship via email and telephone with a lot of our guests prior to their arrival. And so it's nice to meet them and put, a, put faces to names. Um, so we have a pretty sizable range operation that separates from the hideout. With the, on the hideout we manage about, uh, we farm about 350 acres. Um, and then we have the, the cattle operation, the ranch, the ranch operation, and we do uh, quite a bit of the ranch work. What's the best guest ranch in the whole universe? The We try very hard to um, gather all the information that the guests send us and then we get it out to the barn, the kitchen, and the housekeeping team so that the, all the departments are ready for the guests. They have all of their writing information, their dietary information, so when guests come in, they already feel taken care of. Um, we know a little bit about their background with their writing abilities, uh, if they have any dietary issues, the kitchen's prepared for that. So on Sunday evening, when they come in for their first meal, um, everything's taken care of. When they go down to the barn on Monday morning, they have a good horse for them that the barn picks out. And um, they just feel all week like they're taken care of. Melanie and I work really hard if there are any issues with it, whether it's in the cabin or anything that's going on to get that information out to the department so we can fix it. Whether it's a maintenance issue, um, something the barn needs to know, housekeeping needs to know, we work really hard. We like to think of ourselves as sort of the, um, the nerve center of the ranch where we gather the information and then we send it out. Um, so we try really hard to take care of the guests while they're here. We want them to leave with um, feeling like they've had the vacation of a lifetime. Like they've had a week where they haven't had a care in the world, where they've been able to see beautiful scenery, ride on great horses, um, participate in cattle work if they want to do that, stay in lovely accommodations, and that it all seems effortless. And we like all the work that goes into their vacation to be unseen, um, and so the guests don't have to worry about a thing when they're here. Well-seasoned travelers from all over the world have come to Wyoming to experience the hideout's passion for excellence and caring in everything they do.
The hideout is home to over 130 horses, offering a premium riding experience for their guests, and 650,000 unspoiled and scenic acres to ride and explore. Each week, they provide an intimate and personal experience to approximately 25 guests. Everything at the hideout has a feeling of both quality, pride, and professionalism. The accommodations and amenities throughout the ranch are exceptionally comfortable and welcoming. And the cuisine is exceptional. The kitchen staff will dazzle your palate and surprise you with exceptional meals throughout the day. It's the exceptional attributes in everything at the hideout that keep guests coming from all over the world time and time again. I think the number one takeaway that I would like guests to feel when they dine at the hideout is that they know how much we really care that they have an enjoyable meal uh, that's a little bit healthy, that's filling, that's beautiful, and that they know how much we want to take care of them, to make sure that um, they have the type of food that they want to eat. If they have a, an allergy or um, a dislike, we're going to make note of that. Our servers remember our guests' names and whether they like uh, tea with milk or black coffee. We want guests to um, have a, f a sense of community when they come to the table, that uh, food is recognizable, enjoyable, worth talking about. Uh, the hideout is a really, really special place. I came here as a guest for three years with my sister and always knew from day one that I would eventually want to be working here. Uh, I sold my catering business to become a wrangler for a season and was fortunate enough to be asked to be the executive chef the next season. So uh, once you come to the hideout, it's really hard to let it go. A full day of adventure at the hideout starts with the horses coming in from the night pastures, reporting for grooming and saddling. The tack room at the stable, where you'll start your riding orientation and adventure, is impeccably maintained.
the fleet of eight trucks and trailers to take you out on exceptional trails are cleaned at the end of each ride, so guests won't ever find dusty floor mats in the morning. The hideout knows if you know more about riding, the horse's personality, and how people and horses interact, the more you'll enjoy the trail experience. Their goal is to help guests become better riders, and so they provide a thorough safety orientation, riding instruction, and weekly clinics. The hideout is also deeply involved in adopting wild mustangs. Contrary to many who see the wild mustangs as a problem in land management, the hideout has embraced wild horses as an opportunity. The hideout has approximately 30 mustangs that they have adopted, trained, and turned into productive trail horses that guests can experience and enjoy. Tom Bircher talks about the riding program at the hideout. So here at the hideout, I'm, uh, we have a very, very unique um, uh, riding capability. Most of our rides are going to take place away from the lodge, so we trailer out to nearly all of our rides. We have one or two rides that we do right here around the barn, but everything else we're going to trailer out. When we trailer out, the reason we trailer out is because we have the availability of 600,000 acres. In the 600,000 acres, we can be in the high desert down here at about 4,200 feet. Um, uh, we have lots of ups and downs, lots of gullies, lots of red cliffs. And if you go on every one of these rides, it's not going to be like the ride that you did before. And down here in the valley, even if we have guests that have been here 20 some odd times, we can always take them someplace different. Now, we have our basic rides. We have our Sedona. And you say, why do we have a Sedona? It's, we're not in Arizona, we're in Wyoming. Well, we have a ride and it's all red rocks. We have a ride that we call the Five Fingers. So if you're looking at the Bighorn Mountains from the lodge windows, you can see what looks like Five Fingers on the mountain. And to the left of the Five Fingers, we have the W, which you can ride a canyon up into the Bighorn Mountains. Behind us, we have a ride we call the Devil's Leap. Um, uh, and you ride out and it's an 800 foot or so drop off of cliff. No, no, we don't jump off of that when we go riding. So the rides are all varied terrain. We have White Creek Canyon, which is a really, really nice ride. You're going into the mouth of a canyon. It's about 14 miles long. You're going to go up in there about a mile. We can ride from the bottom, and we can also ride from the top. We have Trapper Creek Canyon, which is um, uh, part of our owner's um, uh, property, which is very, very trees and waters running. You're going to cross the water 13 times. And I could go on and on and on about the rides down here in the valley because we can change them up by just 500, 600 yards, and it's not going to look like the same the ride that you did before. Here at the hideout, it's all about riding and giving you the best riding holiday you can have. And so if you um, uh, come here, you're going to see such a wild and varied terrain. We see moose, we see elk, we see mule deer, antelope, and of course cattle. We see a lot of cattle because we have a lot of cattle around. I came here as a guest 
and I've ridden in lots of different places in the world, and this was by far the truly one of the most unique places I've ever ridden. So if you come here, you're going to have a unique experience. After a hearty breakfast, guests and their horses will trailer out for the day's scenic rides. helping neighboring ranchers moving cattle to new pastures, or play with cattle in the arena and ranch pastures. You, your horse, enjoying this western riding paradise, all on 650,000 acres of pure freedom and natural beauty. One of the favorite places for a lunch break on the trail is the outlook known as The Rock, where you can enjoy a packed lunch and see one of the most beautiful panoramas of the Bighorn Mountains you will find anywhere. They even offer special natural horsemanship riding and training weeks held at the beautiful Trapper Creek Ranch facility. Limited by design to four guests weekly, to be totally immersed in improving their horsemanship and understanding natural horsemanship methods, which is somewhat unique among guest ranches. I moved here 13 years ago and I was a total novice rider. I was afraid of horses because I knew enough to know that I wasn't in control. That's why it was very scary to me. Also, the, the, the terrain here is pretty intimidating because I come from Belgium where everything is flat, so I couldn't take those hills and, and ledges. Um, but then I really started to go to the barn the first year, like two days a week, and second year, three days a week. And then I started out, smart decision, I started out with a really old 18-year-old horse that gave me confidence, that gave me a lot of trust. And also people here are in America, they are very nice. They say like, take a deep breath, it's going to be okay. People are very supporting. In Belgium it was like, he is down! <laughs> so that kind of, you're not in the thinking mode anymore. And uh, I saw a lot of good riders when I rode here on the ranch with the Wranglers and the Cowboys. And I kind of started to copy them. But then when I turned 50, I really wanted to learn more about horses. And that's when I did some clinics with Amy Bowers and with Farrah Green. And I learned online, um, liberty and riderless riding. And I thought, why would you need to learn how to ride riderless? Because it makes you a better rider. Because so many people uh, ride only with the reins instead of with their body. And the reins is the last aid. So that's what that taught me. And then all the groundwork and especially the liberty work, it gives you such a better connection with your horse because they're so tuned in to you that a little, they react to that. So yeah, so it's, uh, it's not that I was talented at all. I just wanted to learn it. So if there's a will and you have a good teacher, anybody can do that. So when guests would uh, really uh, like to do a little bit more of hands-on groundwork with me, that's always a possibility. 
um, I can teach them all the basics of groundwork with my horses that already know. So it's a big advantage because, you know, if you ask almost correctly with horses that know, you will get the correct results. And then when you go home with, and you want to play with your horses, you kind of know what you're looking for. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And then in the end, they can just play a little bit at liberty with my horses. And people really enjoy that, like just to run free with a horse that stays with you. Yeah, it's so much fun. After a full day of riding adventures, you'll head back to the ranch in time for the evening happy hour in the main lodge. The wranglers take photos during the rides, playing with cattle and other activities, and everyone can see photos from everyone's ride on the big TV screen while enjoying a wide selection of drinks and exceptional hors d'oeuvres. And when you hear the bell ring, it's time to adjourn to the dining room, where you'll be dazzled by what the chef and the kitchen staff have prepared for the guests. I think one of the reasons um, that people come back to the hideout is really because we believe strongly and are passionately and care very much about uh, a culture of excellence. I think that no matter what you do, uh, whether it's the horses or whether it's the team, uh, any team in the barn, in the kitchen, in housekeeping, in maintenance, if you look at the lawns here, uh, everybody needs to care and everybody needs to, in, in their, each, each in their department and with their people, they need to really strive for, for excellence. We, we're, we're, uh, we have a culture of real people, professionals who, who care, uh, who, who deeply care and, 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 and I think it's one of the reasons that guests come back because the, Honestly, there are not that many places that really care so deeply. And we do it very authentically. We do it because, because we love to do it. We really love what we, what we, uh, we love what we do. Make sure that people have the like, best ever experience, that they learn something, and that they see we value things around us also, that we're, we want to show things. So, so yeah, our culture is really important for us. I think, I think for me, the, the speciality of what really stands out with the hideout is that when we were learning to ride horses, our teachers really pushed the value of taking care of your horse, and, um, which we later learned was what the hideout call is authentic horsemanship, and it's really the repeat of that uh, learning experience and reinforcement of that back in the hideout. So to me it's the, the quality of the horse, it's the, the ability of the hideout to match the, the horse with the rider, um, and the horses are absolutely wonderful. Um, I, every single horse they've given me, I've said, when Tom says, how was the horse? It was perfect. I have never had a bad horse here. Um, so I think the reinforcement of authentic horsemanship, uh, the quality of the horses, the quality of the rides, the scenery, the food, the care and attention that everybody lavishes on us. Um, you can't not come back here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a, yeah, basically for us it's a very easy win. So we spend, we don't have our own horses in Holland. Um, we take lessons twice a week, trying to improve ourselves. But when we come back here, everything's reinforced. We, we ride as we've been taught. Everything is falls perfectly in place. And I think added to that is the quality of the wranglers who um, are very dedicated to the happiness of the and a, yeah, making sure that the guests have a good time. But also, it's it's clearly safety first. And those young people are leaders, and we follow them because we know what they're doing, what they're asking us to do. They explain what they want from us um, and what they don't want from us, and we have to follow that. It's, it's clear. Yeah, but it's safety and fun first. Yeah, it's, yeah. For it's, us, it's <laughs> we see the fun first; they see the safety first. It's, and I think we also we were so pleased that we read on the website before we came here that it, it's not nose to tail riding. So we go out into the most beautiful landscapes here, and um, if. If we want to follow a group of horses, we can a line of horses, we can do that. But we can also spread out and have our own adventure as long as we're safe and we follow instructions. And it's it's beautiful. Plus, the, all of the cabins, everything is neat here. The grounds are neat and clean. Yes, the cabins are comfortable as well as neat and clean. And yeah, in, in Europe, that's very often very important is that everything is neat and clean, and, and that's what we find here as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we come from Holland, it's a good few miles away. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, we look forward to this every single, every single year. Yes. Sometimes we come twice a year. Um, yeah, we just can't wait for the weeks to tip by um, yeah. to come back to the hideout. It's actually, yeah, a, I think a quite unique experience, certainly for us. Um, yeah. But riding the open range isn't the only activity you can enjoy at the hideout. Break out a fly rod and enjoy fishing the beautiful clear water streams of Wyoming and reel in the cutthroat trout, brown trout, and rainbows. Enjoy skeet shooting on the manicured skeet range with high quality shooting equipment. Or relax in the hot tub with friends and share stories on your exceptional experiences throughout the day. Yeah! And new is the 60 by 18 foot heated lap pool with panoramic views to infinity. So uh, at the hideout, we also we embrace diversity as an asset, uh, not for the sake of diversity, but uh, when it is an asset. So uh, we have crawler horses and we have uh, uh, 30 Mustangs also, so there's a little diversity in our horse herd. Uh, if you look at the background of our staff, there's a lot of diversity there, big diversity of terrain. And then uh, we have actually a really uh, large number percentage of our guests that actually come from all over the world. So uh, about 40% of our, our clientele is, uh, is worldwide. Uh, from, that's from all countries in Europe to, uh, to Latin America, to, the, to Israel, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand. And they're, uh, they're all people that actually go on riding vacations. They might come to the US uh, for one, one year and the next year they might go to Mongolia ride horses or they might go to, um, to Kyrgyzstan to ride horses or, or to, uh, to Botswana to ride with, uh, with lions and, and giraffes and all that. So it really brings uh, an incredible diversity uh, to the ranch and, and all our guests, European guests, uh, international guests, uh, American guests, they really like the whole melting pot. I think the hideout hospitality is second to none. Um, Tom and Marin they are so welcoming. Um, the food is amazing, the accommodation is unbelievable, the setting is fantastic. Um, what more could you ask for? It's unbelievable. Come and check it out. So we like to believe, although I'm a foreigner, I'm, I'm a Belgian born in Africa, we like to believe that uh, this is really the melting pot, the most American ranch of ranches, because it's the real melting pot where all, all the people from all over the world come together. Uh, they're all interested in riding and it adds again to the to the learning that we have because a lot of these people are really great riders with different riding backgrounds, they share a passion and uh, and we learn a lot from them also because if you talk to somebody that, that rides in, uh, in Botswana or guides tours there uh, where you have to go very fast uh, and where there are lions around that's a little bit of a different experience than, than herding cattle of course or ride a, a Mongolian horse that you have to uh, that you can't stop that you have to turn in circles of one mile before they stop so it's it's, it's, it's really fun to uh, to listen to people and and we get like uh, instructors from all over the world to say can I can we come and exchange our notes and all that so it, it really adds to the learning and the guests really we, uh, we enjoy it which
it's been an amazing experience and there's a great team of you know wranglers and staff members that are willing to, willing to look after you and help you out and help you improve throughout the week so I think their guidance and uh, they've kind of really let me come into my own and uh, yeah just the all-round experience of um, horsemanship has been fantastic. The hideout is a complete experience for the soul and senses where everyone from the owners, wranglers, staff, and housekeeping share a passion for excellence and caring. It's the caring environment for the guest experience that sets the hideout apart from other destinations that may offer guest ranch activities. There is simply no place on earth like it when it comes to a genuine guest ranch experience where the passion for caring is ingrained in everything they do. I think a lot of guests come here, it's not a nose to riding, and that's one thing that everybody goes for. There's a lot of diversity in the scenery. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of good riding out here. Something that everybody loves is known as the tail. You get to go out, you do loping, trotting, walking, you name it. And then we also offer a fishing ride. That's where we drive up on the mountain. Um, we'll ride out for about 45 minutes, and then we take a fly fishing guide along. He takes you fishing for the rest of the day. Um, you're fishing probably three or four hours, and then you ride back to the trailers. Um, it's a very nice mountain stream up there. You catch a lot of brookies. Um, for lunch, we usually if we catch a couple, we'll fry them up over the campfire and have that for lunch, and then we'll also take lunch along for the guests. So it's a really great time. It's a lot colder up there. Fish are always biting. It's, it's a good time. So something that you, you'll hear over and over again is culture. So at the hideout, we really value the culture that we have here. Everybody works well together. We work as a team, and even if it's your first year, you'll feel valued as an employee. Everybody's input matters. And it's that with that type of culture that I think you see the staff coming back and back year after year. You know, a lot of the return guests that we get, we ask them all the time, you know, what keeps you coming back? And so we get a few variable answers, but the most part is that they love the fact that it's so horse oriented, but they love the staff and the people. They know what they're getting here. Everything can be different on the rides and stuff because we always change that up a little bit. But you get wonderful horses that are well trained, you have great equipment, you have great staff that work here, and there's a lot of attention to detail and they really appreciate that. I think what brings people here to the hideout for the first time is the fact that this is an authentic ranch. You're out in the real west and um, it's a smaller group so you're not, you know, one of a million when you're here for a week. It's a nice intimate setting. And I think the reason that people continue to come back for year after year is because of the atmosphere and you feel like family when you're here. And that's my favorite part of it too, but I think people feel like they're coming home when they come back every year. I think that guests come to the head out for many different reasons. The people here are fantastic. Um, all the staff works really hard to ensure that people have the best vacation possible. I also think that they come for the quality of horsemanship that we do here at the hideout. The horses are one of the most valued members of the team here and I think that people really recognize that and appreciate it. And then I think that they come for the natural beauty of the place here. I mean, there's no place like this part of Wyoming, no place else in the world. It's so beautiful and the rides are unparalleled. If you're ready for an experience like no other, if you're ready to ride the range and Bighorn Mountains like you were born in the saddle on some of the most beautiful landscapes you'll find anywhere, if you're ready to fish clear streams and hook into the big ones that memories are made of, if you're ready for welcoming and comfortable accommodations and cuisine that will create lasting memories,
Well, then you need to make your way to the hideout for an experience you will never forget. It's simply an adventure and experience like no other. We guarantee you'll create lifelong memories that you will cherish forever. We'll see you at the hideout.